Hey you guys, it's your girl Ivy and welcome back to my channel. This video is to show you what I am putting in my maternity bag. And this is based on advice that I got from this like mom app called Peanut. It's based on just like searching what should you put in your hospital bag when you're going into labor and just asking, you know, around friends and family. So we're gonna start with the first section in terms of what you will want to pack for mama. If you know with labor and delivery, it's anticipated that you'll be there for like one to two days if you have a safe vaginal delivery, no complications. And then if you have like a C-section, it could be more like a three days to a week. If it's more complicated, you could be there longer. So I'm claiming that I'm gonna only be there for like one or two days, but I'm still also keeping in mind that anything can happen. So mentally preparing for that. So of course you're going to need underwear. I think it's better to overpack than underpack. So I have several panties, they're my granny panties. And I have like two nursing bras in here. And if you like these little pouches to help you organize in your, in your maternity bag, you can get them off Amazon. I'm gonna link them in the description below. You're also going to want nightgowns. <laughs> on these really cute nursing nightgowns so I can just kind of like pop my boob out when it's time for me to breastfeed from I believe Boohoo. I will link that as well. I have two sets of pajamas in here. You should also probably pack a robe which I will be doing as well so you want to pack a robe. Then you also want mom clothes. So mom clothes for me if I'm only in the hospital for like a couple of days or a few days like what are my outfits outside of my pjs because if i'm just going to be sitting in the hospital room i don't need to be decked out so my my pjs are probably going to be like my outfit of choice but beyond that i have this really cute robe and headband set that matches with the baby's like blanket and her headband so we're definitely gonna put that on and take pictures but then also you want socks with grippers on them because if you plan on being mobile while you're laboring you're gonna want to have on grip socks so that you can walk around in the room or walk throughout the hospital without potentially slipping so socks with grippers are important and then whatever mom clothes, you know, whatever clothes you want to wear at the hospital. But like I said, more than likely, I'm going to just be in my PJs and my robe most of the time. But for my little cute photo shoot with my baby girl, I'm going to have this really cute robe on and we're going to be matching. So there is that. Additional clothes. Clothes for going home. You want something loose fitting. I have this dress that I really like something that I could easily slip over. You don't wanna wear anything tight. So also when you're considering your PJs, when you're considering just clothes that you'll have in the hospital or immediately following the delivery of your baby, you try to have something loose fitting. And this dress is what I chose for my going home outfit. Also, you're gonna to wanna to pack your toiletries. So that is your soap that you're gonna use, your toothpaste your toothbrush i also have in here some items like the freedom mom perineal cooling pad liners um the peri bottle and um the perineal healing foam i have all of those in here as well so you're definitely going to want to pack those because as much as we don't want to think about it tearing is possible and likely and so you want to prepare for that all of those freedom mom items are really awesome to have for it like i said toothbrush toothpaste soap your body cream all of that along with your postpartum items are great and speaking of postpartum and freedom mom they also have disposable underwear which i really love they're these disposable boy shorts and I made a video that will go on my Instagram and my TikTok that highlight the Freedom Mom Postpartum Essentials Kit that I took a lot of these items out of. And I'm gonna show you what 
the boy shorts look like from that clip but yeah these are really awesome because you know you're gonna be dealing with postpartum bleeding and all of that afterwards and having these disposable underwear on hand is awesome because if you do happen to get a little on your underwear you can just toss them i added more to toiletries in here which was just washcloths i have deodorant in here i have hand sanitizer i have gum I have nipple butter. If you plan on breastfeeding, that's nice to have a lip balm. This also serves as like my toiletry 2.0 bag for what can't fit into the little labeled plastic bag. Speaking of postpartum care, I showed you all those freedom mom items. Let's get into these pads, okay? Now, <clears throat> when it comes to these pads, this is the freedom mom instant ice maxi pad so you will wear this after you deliver once again it's going to be catching any postpartum bleeding but also it has this cooling effect so if you are sore down there or if you're achy down there it's going to help to relieve that pain and these things are long baby they are going to cover you from the front to the back and i love that i personally prefer like the overnight size pads when I am on my cycle, and Jesus, oh my gosh, I've gone all this time without having to deal with a cycle, and now I'm gonna have to deal with it again, and I just, ugh, I hate it, but the only other option would be to, you know, like, get pregnant again, and I'm not getting pregnant right away all over again, like, but anyway, so these are important too. I know the hospitals give you this while you're there. They don't give you this exact one. They give you a pad to wear after you deliver, but I've heard that like these are like a hundred times better. So I decided to get the pads myself. And these also come in the Freedom Mom Postpartum Essentials Kit. So you can just one and done it with that kit for real. This is like this hot and cold pad. If you are experiencing contractions, this can help to relieve some of that pain. You can heat this up in a microwave for 30 seconds for it to be a heating pad, or you can freeze it for up to eight hours in the freezer for it to serve as like an ice pad. I'm gonna use this more so as a heating pad and maybe like get ice or something that I can wrap in a towel to serve as like my ice pad. But this is gonna come in handy when I'm experiencing contractions and I need some sort of relief. I'm just gonna heat this up and place it maybe on my lower back or wherever I need to, to get some relief. So this is also a nice to have. I actually got this from Marshalls, but I'm sure you can find something similar on Amazon. And finally, for me, finally, I think, I can't think of anything else. I lied. I lied. Okay. So I also have packed, I'm not going to pull it out, is a pair of slippers. You're going to want that as well if you're going to be walking around. Outside of having your socks with grippers, it'll be nice to have some slippers that you can throw on if you want to go down the hall or whatever the case may be. So I have slippers packed. If you have on your birthing plan that you want something like your own music it's nice to bring like a bluetooth speaker if you want to have some aromatherapy in the room it's nice to bring a dis diffuser if you want to kind of set the mood and you don't want to have the bright fl fluorescent lights on in your hospital room you can bring flameless candles these are all additional things that i will be bringing along with me and then also some massage oil so that your partner or your support person can help give you a massage if needed to provide some sort of comfort and relief so those are things that i don't have in my bag right now that will be going in my bag and then snacks Whew, that's an important one snacks you're gonna want hospital approved if you're gonna be in a hospital snacks or you can talk it over with your doctor but basically they're just light snacks because laboring can be very exhausting and my OB even told me that a lot of times women don't even opt for the epidural because the pain is so unbearable but just more so because they're tired if they've been laboring for 12 plus hours or 24 hours and they can't sleep and all that they're just like just give me the epidural so i can go to sleep please so having snacks that will be power snacks that will keep you going are great a good example 
of that could be having coconut water that has electrolytes. So it's like a natural Gatorade that'll keep you going. Having things like applesauce, which I'm getting the, the little go-go pouches that you typically provide to toddlers. That's a great, great way to keep your energy up. There's also something called chia, like these chia pouches, you can find them on Amazon. I'm sure you can find them in the store, but those will give you a great energy boost. Light snacks that will like keep you going. That's important. I'm also gonna have granola bars and this will also help you avoid getting nauseous and vomiting if you do opt for medication. Having a light snack on your stomach versus a big meal can help you avoid getting nauseous and vomiting or even having to gum and sit on that toilet and do a little something something. Okay, I think I've gotten through all the things that are going in the maternity bag. For me, let's go to what we are packing for baby. This here is labeled sleep suits, but I have the matching blanket and headband for Bo for her. I also have two sets of onesies in two different sizes because I don't know if she's gonna be smaller or bigger. So I have two sizes, one that's newborn and then one that's like zero to three months or something like that. And then I have mittens for her in here to help her avoid scratching herself. I have little hats in here. Oh. I gotta open this so I can show you guys. <laughs> I have a baby bonnet for her because my baby girl's hair is not about to be, you know, compromised by rubbing against cotton all the time. So we got her a baby bonnet. So I'm taking that with me in case she comes out with a head full of hair. We're gonna go ahead and get her used to wearing her bonnet at nighttime when she goes to sleep. There are also socks in here and I believe her going home outfit is in here as well. Like I said, I may be overpacked, but I'd rather overpack than not pack enough. So just make sure you have enough clothes for your baby, depending on how long they will be in the hospital with you. And if you wanna get cute pictures while they're still there. Next up, we have a blanket and a swaddle. So I have that packed in here as well for her. We'll see if she likes being swaddled. We also have diapers and wipes, which are important. If the hospital provides me with a lot of diapers, that's awesome too. But I'm really hoping that these honest diapers won't cause her any irritation. And I've heard that they're really great and they don't. So those are all the things I have packed for baby girl. And I'll probably pack diaper ointment and baby powder. And then I think we're all set for her. I may be a little over prepared, but like I said, I'd rather be over -pre prepared than not prepared at all. Oh, and towels. Towels for our part of toiletries, showering, all that stuff. So that's what I have for you guys. These are all the things that are in my maternity bag. Like I said, I'm gonna have the full list in the description box. So if I did miss anything, you will see it there. I will have links for items that I can share with you guys. And yeah, that's how I'm preparing. I've been in full on nesting mode <laughs> lately. So I had to make sure I have had everything set up and this maternity bag was one of them. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I think we have everything prepared for baby A's arrival and I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm gonna document my labor and delivery. A part of me wants to just, not, not the whole thing, but simply just showing you what it looks like to be experiencing contractions because that's one thing I've had a hard time finding online. So depending, depending on how it's going for me, I may document some of that. I haven't decided just yet how open I wanna be 
on sharing that portion of this journey just because it's it's so intimate it's um so sacred but yeah i mean if you guys see content on it then i decided to do it but if not that's why that's everything i have if you have any questions please put it down in the comments below if you have any suggestions for something that i can add on to what i have in my bag also let me know and as usual thank you so much for watching this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one